Hi there, what have I got today? Today I've got the LM336. What on earth is that? Well, according to the data sheet, it's a reference diode or a programmable shunt regulator. I've also seen it referred to as a voltage reference. Now, I first come across it when I was uh, looking at the LM317 uh, and its big brother, the 338, which apparently is a 5 amp version of the 317 and uh, it gave this diagram which I uh, had a look at and referred to it as a precision power regulator with low temperature coefficient. And if you can see this on this um, data sheet, not in this light probably, but uh, that was diagram sporting an LM317 with the LM336 in there. So I thought well what are they, what are they going to do for me? So I thought I'd get them on the um, workbench and um, take a look at them. So here we go, here's the LM317 on the breadboard. That's the three, uh, 317 there and this over here is the LM336. Now I've got the power supply turned on, it's on 1 volt so obviously you turn it on here, it's below its reference. So let's turn <coughs> this power supply all the way up to 14 volts. As you can see this trim pot is all the way down. Now, so I'm only getting my reference voltage out. Quick look at the diagram for that shall we? If I can get it in there in focus in this rubbish light but never mind. LM317 and there's the 336. It's got this little odd configuration where I presume this is creating the reference point. That comes out of there creating uh, be the voltage that'll be um, whatever that is. So if that's a five, because there is a five volt and a two point five volt um, version of this uh, diode, pot, trimmer pot diode, and then the actual adjustment for the output is down here. So let's have a look at that. So. Let's uh, adjust that trim pot and get up the voltage. So my output voltage goes up. I've got 14 volts in the power supply, so 12 and a half, 12.68 on the output. We can trim that down to whatever we want. Let's put it on 10 volts, close enough. But then we've got this trimmer for this LM336, and I'm not really sure what that's going to do. And actually, it doesn't really seem to do anything. So, don't quite understand the point of it. Unless maybe it just helps keep this more um, more precise so there's less chance of it um, uh, drifting from, from whatever you've set it to. More precision, like it says. So, um, so, yeah, anyway, let's have a look at the actual 336 themselves. So here we have the uh, LM336 on here on the breadboard. <coughs> now there are two versions of this. According to the data sheets, we've got the I've got a national semiconductor that um, hey currently you can get um, uh, an LM136, a 236, and a 336 with a 2.5 volt reference. I suppose it's going to be um, pinout diagram and basic typical usage for them. Um, the first one is basically it's just a Zener diode really isn't it? That's what you've got there um, to give a 2.5 volt reference. And then you've also got this diagram which is like what I had with the LM317. You've got resistor up here then you've got the 336 and then this configuration with the two diodes and the trimmer. Um, there is another one over here which I haven't tried out. Maybe I'll have to get myself an LM334 and so see what that happens with that one. Um, you know, well, what more can I say? I'll have to set that up and have a look. I have noticed uh, um, one thing with this though, and I'll show you that in a moment. This pinout shows that we've got the minus, then the plus, then the adjust. I think that's the wrong way around. I think what you've actually got is the adjust, the plus and then the minus. And I'll show you that when I um, put it in the circuit 
in a moment. First of all, there is another data sheet. This is the LM336 from Fairchild for the 5 volt one, and he calls it a programmable shunt regulator. Now, the pinout from this is the other way, um, which seems to be correct for this, uh, this particular one. 336 integrated circuit in precision 5 volt shunt regulator. Marvellous. Um, gives a diagram of the actual uh, um, schematic of the actual innards. Um, go take a look. Get the date sheets and have a look, see what you think. Anyway, let's uh, put one here. Now, I remember just now I was saying about the um, the 2.5 volt one from National Semiconductor gives a pinout of minus plus and then adjust and in the basic configuration so it gives a 2 point a 2k5 resistor I haven't got a 2k5 so I've got a 2k2 in there at the moment have I now actually I've got a 1k in there I've ignored their advice completely um, so it's a 1k resistor in there so one volt on the input. Now this should be a 2.5 volt reference. I'll turn it up, we get two volts, three volts, still three volts, four volts, five volts. So that is not giving me 2.5 volt reference. But if I take this and turn it round and assume that the diagram is wrong and they've got the minus and the adjust pin in the wrong way for the for the diagram so i didn't turn after i have now no, i turn it back on one volt two volts three volts on the power supply and i get 2.46 on there four volts on the power supply it's still only at 2.47 five volts and it stays there so that is as far as i'm concerned the correct way around and the diagram in that national semiconductor data sheet is wrong but that's brilliant anyway there you go gives me a reference voltage it says 2.5 volts but it's not quite it's almost isn't it nearly there so nearly good enough so let's put the um let's put the 5 volt one in which is the Fairchild one pinout is the same way and the diagram is correct pull that in at the moment we've got 1 volt on that 2 volts 3 volts, I've got 4 volts, now that isn't quite 4 volts so I'm starting to lose a bit of summer in there, 5 volts, I've got 4.7 there, I've got 6 volts on the power supply, I've got 4.9, 7 volts on the power supply, still 4.9, 8 volts, still 4.9, so it's given me nearly the 5 volt reference and it's pretty stable so I suppose even if your voltage you know that your voltage is going to be going up and down you've now got a very particular very precise output but you can also supposedly make this a bit more precise by putting in those two diodes and the trimmer pot into the circuit to give a bit of a better um, reference now let's do that with the Two and a half volt one first. Just put that diode in there, and I'll need to have another meter so we can see the output from that other. Um, am I going to get this in shot? I'm going to have to um, focus out a bit. Not focus out. Um, There we go, hopefully I'll be able to get a second meter in there now. Somehow. A bit on the skew, but I'm sure you can see it. So I want this one again round to the negative. This one on. Plus, now on the diagram it actually doesn't say where you should read that reference from, where you can take it from. So, I 
on here I'm looking at it going do I take it from this point or do I take it from this point from the adjust pin so I've connected it to the adjust pin well we'll see it both anyway because I've got it connected up to both points so that's that one on uh, this, is, this is this is awful in it I mean I'm not really making this easy to see for anybody perhaps that might help everything in shot yeah marvelous okay so <laughs> I've got the 2.5 volt one in there haven't I said the national semiconductor one so we turn it on at the moment I've got one volt on the power supply it's almost half isn't it I mean it's like it's half the reference anyway let's turn this up 2.3 on there got four on there got five on there I've only got my 2.47 and that's about half that isn't it I mean what happens if I trim it? Look at that, I can trim it really quite a bit all the way up to 1.95 volts. So I presume the, the, the dropout there, the difference there, is just the difference between the dropout on that, uh, on that diode I've got, the first diode, or across the whole diode bridge because there you get the voltage drop there. I suppose with that I can now set myself a voltage that's very very precise and I'll get it to if I can get it to one volt one volt so my main output is 2.47 I've got five volt on the power supply I'll turn it up to six turn it up to seven it's hardly it's it, it's basically giving a really really solid output from where I'm taking it on the, the, the uh, from this other part and the main output is really stable let's try that with the uh, with the 5 volt one see what I get there 5 volt being the Fairchild one so I'm expecting the same sort of thing just higher voltage Turn it on, take that up to my 6 volts so I know it's operating properly. I've got now at 7 volts, put it on 8. Everything seems just fine and when I trim this, I trim it all the way up to 4.3 and all the way down to 0.7. So I mean on that one I could say if I want half the uh, half of this output voltage from this LM336 and I want the half voltage of that I suppose you could use it in a way that um, gives you a, uh, maybe in a circuit protection or if you need a very specific voltage going into a particular item you could say I want exactly and I do mean exactly 2.5 volts in there then even if that voltage was to fluctuate on the main input these references are going to stay exactly where you want them to be and so that the circuit will continue to operate even if you lose a volt or two or gain a volt or two on the main power line um, without really having too much effect at 10 volts it's, it's had the slight effect yeah 10 volts and 12 volts but I mean a voltage difference you know and the thing still works and gives you a solid reference brilliant and um, 336 give them a try yourself so there you have it the LM336 a variable programmable voltage reference regulator diode whatever they want to call it um, 2.5 volt and 5 volt reference which is brilliant especially for um, lower powered circuits I suppose these days a lot of the um, reference stuff is done with some fancy little IC chip that um, everybody just bungs in adds a couple of components and there you go but if you want to build a circuit that needs uh, or you want to build a circuit that requires a 
uh, singular component, then that seems to do the job, and it seemed pretty stable. So we, yeah, I mean, you could, especially the five volt one, you could set it up for um, three point three volts, and know that that was absolutely stable, or three volts, something in the um, is it CMOS logic chip that might require something that's really really stable. Um, so there you go, LM336. Have a go, try them out, see what you think. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and all comments are welcome. See you next time. And in five, four, three. Welcome to my show. I'll give you some surprises. <laughs>